Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is a collective reading. Welcome one and all. The gates of the Garden of Eve are open. If you are new here, I am Eve Elements, your host. Welcome one and all. We're just going to do some collective readings concerning love. The darker side of love, the lighter side of love. Who's coming towards you? Who's leaving you? It is always going to be whatever the message is, spirit knows is good for you. Okay? It's never going to be uh, pre-shuffled or none of that because... I like my audience to see exactly what they're getting. So with that being said, let's begin, shall we? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, and those of the white light. I send forth protection towards the collective as you, most high God, Adonai, Elohim, Adonai, send forth heaven's protection around me, my business, my children, my security and stability. Keep us covered under the shadow of the Almighty. Let not our enemies touch us who are your anointed. Keep us protected fully. Amen. Are there any messages? Show me truth and clarity. Show me what I need to see concerning the collective. And please keep my energy out of the collective. As I delve deep to retrieve true messages for the collective, what they need to know or what they need to know as confirmation or what they do not know. Whatever messages you have for the collective, I ask, Holy Spirit, Archangels of the Covenant, and the Most High God, Adonai, show truth and to bring clarity. You have someone in your energy that is afraid to express their love or someone's holding back or someone's not saying anything. Express your love usually talks about someone making that romantic gesture and letting you know how they feel about you, how they feel towards you, that nature, right? Someone's not doing that. They're holding back. Let's see here. Why? Because they're very pessimistic. This is keeping open mind in reverse, 2 to 2 on the clock. This could be a partnership. It could be a partnership trying to come in. Or it could be literally people that are currently in a partnership where one is not expressing how they fully feel towards the other one. As far as when it comes to love or as far as love is concerned, someone's not expressing themselves here. They need to. But they're feeling down and out and defeated. Or they could be feeling depressed. Or they could be feeling deprived of something. Something that's making them feel a little bit off. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit, Archangels and Spirit Guides? The collective needs to know. This is a general collective read for Saturday. Okay. What else do we need to know? So we have someone here that wants to make a romantic gesture, but they're not knowing how to. They're feeling a little down. They may feel like they, they're afraid to make that romantic gesture towards you collective because they think you might, like if they shoot, they shot, they think that you may uh, turn them down. So I feel like we have someone here who's afraid of rejection. This could be the one. They may be feeling like maybe you're not their person or maybe you are. But I feel like, truth be told, if you want to know if someone's truly your person or if they are truly the one for you, go and talk to that person. Express how you feel. And you don't have to express right away how you feel. But get to know that person first before you express your emotions towards someone, right? We have, you've already met the romantic partner. You see someone feels like maybe you're not the one, maybe you're not the one, or... Someone literally could be feeling that maybe they're not your one. Maybe they don't feel like, maybe they feel like they're not the person for who you are. Maybe they may feel like you're too good for them, right? So we got someone all up in their head, afraid to speak up how they truly feel. I like it because you're super sweet. I make you a little bitty and a bee. Someone doesn't feel like it's safe for them to love just yet. This could be someone that got out of a connection where they were dealing with a narcissist. Or they were dealing with a connection period that was just bad for them. And then here they see you coming along and they have feelings for you. But 
they want to shoot their shot but they're not certain if they should because they may get rejected turned down it might be kaputs you know what i'm saying um so they're they're uncertain like open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all someone's holding some, i heard clutching their heart tight okay someone's holding on to their heart space they like i'm not in the mood to get my heart broken again i'm just uncertain of this if i shoot my shot at this person because i really like this person but i don't want to go ahead towards this person and they reject me or if it's not about fearing the rejection of it all it could literally mean is this person <coughs> gonna be like my past person will they be like my past person will they be a user will they gaslight me will they trick me will they be a cheater Will they always play mind games? Someone is literally thinking like that. Okay? For some of you out there. Let me get one more. So this is why there's a potential new energy holding back from you. This, I feel, is someone new. Okay? The energy is new. It's giving new. What else, Holy Spirit? So I feel like this is going on now at present. See that black smoke? Mm -hmm. that's clearing away all that negative energy that could be keeping this person from coming towards you so someone could be using witchcraft on the side I, I don't see it yet because remember I'm in the love deck right now but it could be witchcraft playing a role in here as to keeping this person stuck in their head and, it could, and if it is it's coming from their side we got black smoke coming up all in through mind you this is a collective read and take the parts that fit leave the rest time is Fluid, but these readings are indicative or can be indicative of past, present, or future. Okay, take the parts that fit, leave the rest. Can't express that enough. <laughs> okay, let's get one more card, Holy Spirit. And this reading, this current reading, may or may not resonate with everyone. I feel like this person is holding back for some of you because they're in a commitment already. We have literally the wedding card where someone is with someone. Now, I don't like to use the word, oh, someone's stuck with someone. If you catch me saying that, catch me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I hear catch me outside. How about that? So someone's with someone that maybe they don't feel comfortable being married to them anymore or being in a commitment with this individual anymore. They're looking possibly for a way to get out, but it seems hopeless with them coming towards you because they're stuck to this person here who got their eye on them at every given moment every time every time they, this man turns his head or this woman looks there's that person staring right at them looking at their every move watching their every move what are you doing today oh so where are you going you going to that store on such and such you going to the bodega on the corner are you going to work at nine okay what time you get off of work Okay, like this is someone clocking someone's every move here. And there's a separation. So someone's looking to separate. This is at the bottom of the deck. Someone's looking to separate from this individual here. Okay, someone feels like they deserve love. Someone does have witchcraft on this person. We have religious factors. Someone's religious and someone is spiritual here. Someone, someone, I heard voodoo. Or voodoo. So someone binded someone to them to get married. Someone did a voodoo spell for marriage and love and money. I feel like whatever your religion or whatever your belief system is, is embedded in your DNA. It's part of your spiritual path and upbringing. Whoever this is. So I feel like these two just are on two different pages here. Their energy is mismatched. They don't have matching energy. So there is a separation here. Also, whatever this voodoo is, the spell is broken. So that's why this person is looking to separate from this other energy here. The spell is broken. The spell was meant to keep this person stuck in their head. And I hear Cardi B's when it's stuck, when it's stuck, when it's stuck. When it's up, when it's up, when it's up, it's stuck. Okay? 